In the following tasks, you'll enhance the animation of Juno's journey to Jupiter by creating a sense of depth. You'll add a few layers of stars and position them at different z-depth distances, which will enhance the vastness of space. Add a new layer in the timeline and move it to the bottom of the layer stack. Rename the layer Stars 1. The Stars 1 layer will contain the first layer of stars. In the Library panel, drag the graphic symbol called Stars 1 from the library onto the stage. The graphic is simply a collection of gray and white dots randomly scattered over the large area. Don't worry too much about precise placement. Select the Selection tool and just position the instance to cover most of the solar system and a little of the space to the left, since that's where the camera moves. It may be helpful to change the stage view magnification level so you can see more of the graphics that might be off stage and out of camera view. Add another layer, named Stars 2, and move it below the Stars 1 layer. Add another instance of the graphic symbol STARS1 to that layer. Use the Free Transform tool to rotate the instance 180 degrees so the stars in this layer don't match up exactly with the stars in the other layer. Again, make sure the stars cover most of the solar system. Add a third layer of stars called STARS3 below all the others. And at a third instance of the STARS-1 graphic symbol. Use the Free Transform tool to rotate that instance about 55 degrees so the stars in the bottommost layer don't align exactly with the stars in the layer above it. Select the first keyframe of the STARS-3 layer and in the Properties panel, change the color effect so the brightness value is at negative 60. The stars in that layer become slightly dimmed, which will reinforce the sense of distance. Preview the animation by pressing the Return or Enter key. The Layer Depth panel manages the distances of each layer from the camera layer. In the Timeline panel, click the Layer Depth button, or choose Window Layer Depth. The Layer Depth panel appears, showing all the layers in the order which they appear on the timeline. Next to each layer is a zero, indicating its current Z-Depth value. Next to the Z-Depth value is a color that is coded to the Depth Diagram on the right panel. Since all the layers are currently at Z-Depth of 0, they are at the same depth level and they lie at the same plane as the camera frame. The camera is indicated by the ball with the dotted lines radiating from it. The flat blue line attached to the dotted diagonal lines shows the field of view of the camera. Make sure your stage is at 100%. In the Layer Depth panel, drag to the right on the Z-Depth value for the STARS 3 layer to increase it to 500. You can also click the value and enter a numeric value, or you can drag the corresponding colored line. Notice the effect of the STARS 1 graphic on the stage as you change the Z-Depth value. As the Z-Depth increases, the layer's distance from the camera increases, and the stars recede on the stage. If we drag the opposite way, you can decrease the z-depth into negative values, and you can make the layer appear behind the camera. The problem with changing the distance of the stars 3 layer is that the graphics on that layer get small, sometimes too small for your animation. You can use the Maintain Size option to prevent your graphics from changing size, as you change the layer distance. Move the z-depth value for the stars 3 layer back to zero. Now click the Maintain Size option in the Layer Depth panel to select it. 
Drag the z-depth value for the star's three layer to increase it to 500. Notice how the size of the stars remains constant. The Maintain Size option must be clicked every z-depth change, so if you drag the star's three layer z-depth value three times to get to 500, make sure you click the Maintain Size option three times. Click the Maintain Size option, and set the z-depth value for the star's two layer to 300, and the z-depth value for the star's one layer to 150. The diagram on the right in the panel indicates the positions of the three layers relative to the camera and the other layers. The bold highlighted layer in the diagram is the layer that is currently selected. That's all you have to do. Close the layer depth panel and preview the effects of the setting on your last three layers farther behind than the others. The parallax effect due to the motion of the camera over levels at varying depth levels is most noticeable if you scrub the timeline between frames 72 and 160. That's when the camera is panning from left to right, tracking Juno. You can see the orbit sliding by faster than some of the stars, which are sliding by faster than the more distant ones. The overall effect is a realistic sense of space.